know, last night we slept in our camper in the driveway. Today we're going to be installing that cabinet. Susie's going to put more carpet, I think, on the sliding cargo door. And we were comfy as can be. Thanks for watching. Well, on the camera, just kind of, it looks perfect. It does? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> But it's like everything else. It's it's very difficult. It's really difficult. In my opinion. I think it, you know, it's like it's a thing that you need experience. Yeah. So Susie a while ago wanted to take this off because she got some glue on the top that made her unhappy, but I we can get that off. And then I convinced her to not do the the plastic panel down here. I know some people do. I told her just do the top and it's fine, so she went with it. It's just it's hard to work with and you know, good luck to those who can pull it off perfectly. But she's got, we've got some seams, and it's just, it's going to be what it is. I mean, the other option is just to leave it blank, like this door here. But we'll be okay with it. It's, it's just there are so many bumps that you don't realize that are there. So when you push it down with the stretch carpet, it's going to show every single little bump. Like, let me show you here. See all these places right here. That's why there's so many lumps and bumps over there. You think that we're not pushing it down hard enough. And then there's these indentations up here. I'm not making excuses. This is just a fact. It's just tough stuff to work with. So I think when it's all said and done, it'll be fine. We're not doing a showpiece. But I'll get that glue off at the top corner some places. And it'll look fine. Jeez, I think overall you're doing a good job. It's just you got to learn. Anything else you want to say about this? Um, uh, I wish I already knew how to do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> we should have uh, found a door at a junkyard and, pr and bought oh, it and yeah, practiced just, it. Just go to a junkyard. Can we put, yeah, can, can we yeah. put this on here? Right, that'd be an idea. Do two or three, like. Yeah. They're like, sure. That'd be a waste. Waste the carpet, carpet, but. Yeah. Well, not, I guess. Not anyway, well, let me leave you alone. I know it's, it's frustrating. We'll be fine. Thank you. So Susie is on the passenger side door, and she's got the other door done. Not bad. Not good. <laughs> Not perfect, but wow. You, don't you feel a teeny bit more confident on this one? Yes. Yeah, there you go. There's so many things that can go wrong. Yes. I suppose you can say that about anything. You're right. You cut a little bit too yeah. much, and... But it'll be okay. A little imperfection here, there. Adds character, as they say. <laughs> Thank you for your tedious work. Uh -huh. All right. So you you got it on. How did it go this time? Better, but I just took me almost like twice as long. Right. But we just have one little wrinkly area right down there in the corner. Otherwise, it's a thing of beauty. Not bad. Thank you. Woo. Well, if you if the light is not right on it, <laughs> looks great. Total darkness. It looks really perfect. Wow, it's almost 80 degrees. It's great. Um, Susie's been hard at work on the carpet, on the driver's side. That is hard to work with, and it, there's just so many more bumps as you'll see me when I talk about it. Um, and I convinced her not to go all the way down. I think it looks fine. It's got a, a few little imperfections here and there and after a while our eyes won't see it and um, if you're a friend of ours you won't complain um, so I'm putting in the drain in the shower this is a drain that came uh, that was suggested with the Amazon order so this is going to drop in and it had a, a threaded brass ring and all, all these things and I ended up putting this into um, this PVC pipe it is an inch and a half and um, it is fitted in nice and tight and um, I got this, it's like emergency tape kind of thing, it's kind of like flex seal, and it's, you can use this in high pressure situations, electricity, all kinds of stuff, and you pull it and, tie, and as you go tighter and tighter, it actually kind of welds on itself, and then if you want to really be sure, you go back the other direction, So, which of course I did. So this is my seal here, then I'm going to use uh, plumber's putty just underneath here as I push it in, and I'll clean up around it, and so the actual pipe is inside here that this is connected to so this is a pipe 
around the PVC pipe. So it's a smaller pipe that fits snugly connected to this. And so what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm going to bypass the, the two wood surfaces, the surface in the box, and then there's a gap because the insulation was there, and then the, the subfloor, and then it goes out through the metal. So um, it's a tube inside, a tube, and then what I'm going to do is I was going to use Flex Seal spray, but I think I'm not going to. Instead, I cut this, I have this thick rubber gasket material. I've used this kind of stuff before on the runaway on a couple of projects. So what I'm going to do is I, after I push this through and I've got that plumber's putty cleaned up, push it through, I'm going to push this up to where the, it comes out of the metal. And it's going to be pretty sealed. It's pretty tight. And then I'm going to um, probably use the Plex Seal that I've got that's um, the paint-on stuff. But if I need to, I'll use this, the can, but I don't think I'm going to need it, so I, I get to return that one. Um, and then I've got a simple cap, and I bought three of these. They're 49 cents a piece. It pops in, pushes in real tight. I doubt it could come out, but if it does, I'll have a couple of extras. They're 49 cents a pop. I think I can afford a few extras. So that's going to be my nice simple drain for the shower, which we really won't use a lot, but it will be nice when we want to mainly rinse off, since we're not doing hot water uh, and we mainly camp in decent weather. But we could heat up some water uh, that the jerry can at the 12 volt pump is going to pull the, um, the water out of, so we could warm it up if we wanted to. So let me get going on this. and. Um, as soon as I get this done, I think Susie needs to, well, I, I could go ahead. She needs to screw this in some more. It's already locked in. I'm going to bring the uh, small, the last piece of furniture, the sink cabinet. And we're going to figure out how, we've got a pretty rough idea how we're going to get it mounted in here and get it mounted so I can do the wiring. And then she'll get the cut on top and sink in. So last big thing right here besides fighting with the carpet. And then... The carpet on the this sliding door, I'm, I'm going to try to convince her just to do the inside part where you can see the kill mat and just leave the rest. That's what I'm, we'll see if I can convince her of that just to make her life easy. So here's my professional plumbing job. I put plumber's tape. I still need to clean it off a little bit around there. Um, but I think that's going to work fine. It won't be under pressure. It'll just be actually a pretty slow amount of water running through. And again, there's a the plastic pipe that's coming from that drain is inside another pipe and then I uh, connected that underneath and I'll show you that. Apparently Susie is uh, checking my handiwork down there or else she's changing the oil I'm not sure. Well in, in my estimation <laughs> since I know so much about plumbing it's I'd, professional. I'd say it looks Watch, like your hair's going to get in flex seal on that cardboard. Move. Away, you. I don't think you did. Whoa, that'd be permanent, sister. It okay. looks like a good job. All right, thank you for your voter confidence. <laughs> so there is my solution. I've got the rubber gasket around. It's glued underneath to the metal, and then I've got Flex Seal uh, going on it. And I'm going to come back and put more on in a few days around the edges. But it's definitely sealed, and I think that'll work just fine. Is that an OSHA way approved <laughs> way of brat nailing? You're not supposed to be watching. I'm just glad I'm not there. Well, that's it. That's what we finished on day two of our full week van build, the final week. And um, tomorrow we'll have some more to show you. And uh, it's fun. It's exciting to wake up every morning to see how close we've come. You know, we, if we had taken all the time that we were actually working, I think it would probably reduce down to two or three months. But hey, this has worked out perfectly because it's nice weather. We're finishing this up. I even was sweating yesterday. So um, it's all fine. And uh, camping season is here. So we're ready to get out on the road a little bit. Thanks for watching.